Hello, hello, hello. My name is Jesse, and this week we will be showing you guys how we are restocking our fridge and prepping our ingredients for easier cooking. All right, let's start with our Costco haul. I decided to give these silicone bags a try um, so we can try not to use too many single use Ziplocs and some instant rice for convenience and some tuna in oil because I always have these in the pantry. I also grabbed a box of dishwasher tablets. I got my half and half of puffy, some grapes, and these crab and corn chowders are so good for lunch in the office. And another thing of exo sauce for some stir fries and mushrooms. Moving on to the vegetable, we have some carrots there for the dogs, cucumber, pile of greens. I use this for to cook some of it for the dog food as well. Some asparagus. Well, these are really really good. Some snap peas, and of course, if it's not a Costco trip without this sweet kale salad kit, some avocado oil, some oxtail here because I'm planning to make some pho, and banana. And moving on to the Asian grocery store that we went to, we got some rice vinegar, some serrano, some paper. Spring roll wrapper. Oh, I need to put that in the freezer soon. Noodles for the pho. Uh, basil, bees, um, bean sprout. And oh, that's from Costco, the gummy bear. And some rice noodles. Some rock sugar for to make the broth for pho. Some rice paper wrapper. Some chili. Ooh, these would last us for a while. Some rice noodle sheets that I usually use it to roll uh, spring rolls and stuff and a bag of egg noodles to make chow mein. I finally found this as Costco to use in our drawers so I, I'm excited about it to see if it works out for our drawers and it's you know, over here just some batteries and I got another set of scissors for the kitchen. I don't know about you guys but we go through scissors like no tomorrow. I have like five pairs and at one point, it, they are all in the sink or in the dishwasher and I don't have any to use. So I just got another set. And we also got a CSA box for this week. These are our organic produce from the local farmers. So this week we got some dino kales, romaine lettuce, cauliflower, broccoli, oranges, Oh, these Kara Kara oranges are so good. Some shiitake mushrooms, a head of celery, cilantro, and spinach. Oh, I can't wait to cook with these. I usually do not meal prep, but I do love to prep my ingredients to make my cooking during the week easier. So let's prep the vegetable that we have this week. First off, this beautiful head of cauliflower from our CSA box and the broccoli. First, we're gonna give them a good wash while having the water come up to a boil. I'm gonna steam it today, so I'm putting it in this wok. While waiting for the water to boil, I'm gonna prep the cauliflower by just, you know, trimming the outer leaves off and cut it in half. Now, moving on to the broccoli, I'm just gonna cut the stems off the floret and I know some people don't eat the stems, but I personally like it. It's just the texture is really good. And the one way to make it good is to peel off the vibrary part outside and it would just have this inner part of the broccoli that tastes so crunchy and sweet to me. All right, I usually steam this for about three minutes because I don't want it to be completely cooked, just blanched to get ready for the meals during the week. And you see what I mean by it's easy to put just six pieces of vegetable in the steamer instead of a whole bunch of them. While waiting for the steamer to do its thing, I'm gonna prep the containers that we're gonna put the broccoli in. Meanwhile, I'm gonna cut some bell peppers as well because it's great to have all these pre-cut so when I need to cook in the week, I just pull it out and start cooking. So I'm just cutting the bell pepper by cutting the two ends off, remove the membrane and see out and just cut them in strips. 
while I was cutting the bell peppers, the timer for the broccoli and cauliflowers went off. So I need to stop doing this and put the broccoli and cauliflower in an ice water bath by just adding some water, take the broccoli and cauliflowers out, add some ice on it, and pour some water. That's an ice bath, right? Uh, right now that the broccoli and cauliflower are in the ice bath, we're gonna go back to cutting our bell peppers. The reason why I'm putting the broccoli and cauliflower in the ice bath is to stop it from continue cooking and it would keep the texture crunchy and the green color vibrant. All right, so I'm just cutting the bell peppers in strips. There's two of them, just come in strips and put them in the containers, seal it. And this should stay fresh in the fridge for more than a week, but I'm gonna use it before then. All right, next vegetable is our dino kale. I'm just gonna chop them in bite size. I usually do it in like the usual size, whether I want it to store fry it later or make a salad or make it into a soup. So I cut it into about two inches lengthwise. And now it's all done. I'm gonna let it soak in a water bath to wash it. Now, while the kale is soaking in the sink, I'm gonna dry our cauliflower and broccoli so we can cut them up. Now that they are blanched and dried up, I'm just gonna cut them into bite-sized florets and they would be ready for any roasted vegetables, stir-fry, soup, or just to snack on. You see how easy it is to cut these after we blanch it? We just cut them into pieces and there is no mess. Usually if we cut the raw cauliflower or broccoli, all the tiny little pieces and bits would just be all over the counter but now that it's cooked it's so much easier to cut i honestly think this is the biggest time saver when it comes to cooking because if i got back from work rushing to the kitchen to cook the last thing i need is washing the vegetable cutting the vegetable blanching it and then cooking it so i would just kind of skip the vegetable and just look for something easier but if I already have these prepped in the refrigerator, all I have to do is take it out of the container and cook. So the first few steps has already been done. And it's easier when clean up too because I didn't have to dirty another bowl, cutting board, or knife. Yay, we got blanched vegetables ready in the fridge. And we can make so many dishes out of these. Moving on to our next one is the kale. Now that it's done soaking, washed, and dried, I'm just gonna put it in this glass container and now we have another vegetable ready. All right, another big vegetable in our fridge is this huge, beautiful Napa cabbage head. And I'm gonna split them into halves. The first half, I will be cutting them in thin slices, about an inch it. It would be shorter strips, so we can use it for stir-fry, salad, or even throw it in a soup, and it's so convenient. Now moving on to the second half, I would be cutting them lengthwise, so they would be longer strips. So this, it would be good for like roasting and put it on the side of a steak, or whatever we want to eat like as a roasted vegetable. Now that they are both cut, I'm going to give them a good wash and we will be done. Now I have two different kinds of cuts of our Napa cabbage ready for me to cook whenever I want to instead of having to cut the vegetable, wash it, dry and then cook during the week. At that point, I would just skip the vegetable altogether and eat something less healthy. And this is why prepping the ingredients ahead of time is so important to me. And just like that, in about like 20 minutes, we got all of the vegetables ready. We have two different cuts of Napa cabbage, blanched broccoli, cauliflower, pre-washed, pre-chopped kale, and pre-chopped bell peppers. All of these are ready for me to cook during the week or just one of I want to snack on some vegetables. Okay guys, if you like this video, hit that subscribe button and come back next week for our weekly updates. See you then!